Um, so being in the restaurant industry, um, when COVID hit, Subway had to pivot rather quickly to the digital space. We, we did have an app and we had the ability for guests to order from the website, but it was not a consistent experience. It really forced us to take a hard look at the guest experience, uh, experience which included a rewards program. And you would think that the largest QSR, which stands for Quick Service Restaurant, fast food chain in, uh, in easy speak, uh, we're the, the largest QSR in the world. And you would think that we would have it more together, uh, but Subway as a company worked rather independently. So EMEA did their own thing, APAC did their own thing. And this goes beyond the different menus, which we will always have. What I mean here is the Subway app in EMEA looked very different from the app in North America. We used to contract out the development of the app, which included loyalty programs, which I believe was even a separate company than the company that was developing the app. It just got very complex. And I remember trying to reach out to these firms and asking, you know, hey, do you want my glossaries? Do you want my TMs? So our terminology can be consistent across the board. Uh, and it just didn't happen. Nobody got back to me and it was a complete disconnect. So a few years ago, we really made a concerted effort to have a consistent, good guest experience, which meant taking back the responsibility of the app in-house within Subway. It also included creating a new loyalty program, which at the time we called Subway My Way Rewards, a very North American play on words with Subway and My Way. Uh, the challenge immediately became, how do we translate this into French Canadian? because they're part of North America. So we looked to our franchisees in Quebec. Uh, we hired a local agency and we used my linguist to come up with what finally became Mon Subway Recompense, uh, my Subway Rewards. We didn't really do that with any of the other markets outside of North America. They decided to keep the my way phrasing. So fast forward to last week, when we launched our new rewards program called Subway MVP Rewards. I felt like we didn't really learn anything from our last experience because once again, MVP is a very North American concept, meaning most valuable player, referring to a game. Uh, I, baseball comes to mind immediately, but they have it in basketball and every other sport. Um, they did change it to most valuable person, which still didn't really make any sense outside of North America. Uh, and our levels within our loyalty program are now pro, captain, and all-star. Depending on how much subway you buy in a year, you're moved up in our ranking system. However, what I saw was immediate buy-in from the different markets. They wanted to be aligned with our strategy in North America but adapt it slightly to fit each market appropriately. For example, in Quebec, we renamed the program Etoile Récompense Subway. So basically star, you know, Subway Star Rewards. And the three levels became Pro, same, Capitaine, same, and Légende. Uh, in Finland, we simply renamed it to Subway Rewards. There was no MVP, you know, in that thinking process. And everybody was on board with the rewards program, uh, although they did rename the, the levels. So in Finland, our levels became um, Rising Star, Hot Shot, and The Boss. So, um, But because everyone was on board with that new program, it allowed us to reuse a lot of the essential documents like the FAQs and the job aids and the e-learning materials. Um, at the same time, they did listen to their local market feedback and came up with what made sense to their target markets. And I think the more important part of this is the rewards program looks exactly the same, really, you know, across the markets where we offer the app. So, so far we've launched the app in Puerto Rico. So we did Puerto Rican Spanish, North America. So we did French Canadian and Finland for whatever reason. Uh, so we translated that into Finnish. And our next markets include France and Germany. And I'm really looking forward to see what the local voices in those markets name our rewards program and our different levels of loyalty.